to make this um, planet so that your different layers are going to go if you move this planet around just click on one of the layers doesn't matter that is that's part of the planet and then link the other two or three or however many you have you can do this as much as you want you can create larger you can create smaller planets you can have it going off the side one thing that is nice to know is that you can do what's called a lighting effect um, several different ways to do that. Let me show you here. I'm going to the base layer for this particular image and I'm going to go to filter, render, lighting effects and you will see that you get this little control. Now you need to pay attention to where do you want your lighting to come from in this particular image and I will have my light come from the upper right hand corner and just play around with this the closer to the planet you get the brighter it's going to be the further away you get the dimmer you can widen or narrow your scope once again just play with this you've got different kinds of lighting that you can choose you can play with the different kinds of light that you have here. There are lots of really advanced things that you can do with this that I'm not going to show you. Play around with it if you want to know more. Then say OK once you get it the way you want it. And it's not going to show very much unless you turn off your other layers. Now just go to your other layers and do Control F to apply that exact lighting effect and see how that's changing the way that it looks. Now what you could do once you've got that, turn off the background layers, create a new layer at the top, and we're going to do Control alt shift e to stamp this so we have a merged version. And now turn background layer back on. And what we can do that um, what we can do is go in here and we can create a layer mask, which we've done before. And now we could create a gradient, make this time, make it be a gradient that is radial, and we can try various and sundry things on it. So if you wanted it to be kind of like a half moon type thing, something like that. See how the problem is, this is showing through to the background layer. Now that's all well and good, but what if we wanted it to not show through to the background layer? All you have to do is create a new layer underneath. You could turn all these other layers on, but that sort of defeats your purpose. We're going to create a new layer underneath this layer, and that's Control New Layer. And then hold down the Control key and click on the planet layer to, c to pick up the shape. And we're going to fill it with black, and we're going to leave the blending mode to normal and that's alt backspace to fill it with black and see how suddenly we've created basically a little stop of black that keeps it control D deselect that keeps it so that you can't see through the planet anymore okay I'm gonna end the tutorial here I will let you play with this um, you will need to upload um, a file with your your first your last name hyphen stars dot PSD um, I'd also like for you to create a .jpg, and that is file save as, and I would want you to do this on the um, snap server for me, and all you have to do is just pop this open, jpg, and save, and there you go. And it'll ask you how do you want to save your quality and blah blah blah. Take it up to maximum, you know, large file 12, and say okay. And that will do. So I'm going to let your imagination run wild. Don't forget that if you don't like the placement of these individual stars that you have in the back, you can use your move tool and you can move them around however you want. Okay. Just let your imagination go crazy.